here at the Beely Good Farm this morning. Dropped off the fuel trailer yesterday. We got uh, 12 loads of gravel brought here. And uh, it is time to backfill the pool. So let's walk over here and check that out. He should have all the form work pulled off of it. All right, so you can see he started to uh, dump a little bit of gravel in there, but that pretty much sums it up right there, what we got to do. Fill all that in, and then all his um, plumbing and everything can come in right through here. So we'll get all that right there backfilled today. And uh, over there on the other side, what I'll probably do is put some gravel and then get some of that dirt put back in there, and I'll go get the uh, compaction wheel for the mini excavator just so we're saving on gravel and not wasting so much uh gravel in i mean we got to have it right here regardless but on that outside edge we can get the gravel on the outside and then start putting some dirt in there to save on wasting so much rock well i found jeff <laughs> i hope he makes it back before the boat sinks <laughs> you're you're treading very uh very deep there bud <laughs> got his fishing poles in the sun what's that that's always good the <laughs> Did, did James do the uh, steering on that? <laughs> well, it seemed like she uh, she list a little bit to starboard there. <laughs> well, he also put a pump in it with, uh, I think it's 20 gauge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember, turn right to turn go left. <laughs> <laughs> We don't get a lot done at work, but we sure do have fun trying. Hurry! Look at this thing. <laughs> he said, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it and make it some steer. <laughs> Nor <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally it helps at the end of the rope. There goes the battery. <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> oh, oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I think I can make it to you if I stand on the end of the rope. Hey, look at that. As it arcs across both back. <laughs> <laughs> Save me. I like the rudder. That's some beautiful welding on that. Oh, we got two by fours. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I better not, better not pull on that. I don't know if those, yeah, fall, if yeah. those welding dabbles will. <laughs> morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? Well, are your feet wet? Oh yeah. yeah uh, okay. Change socks and shoes before we can even get to work. No need to uh, put a bilge pump in there, right? Oh, there's a bilge pump in it. Is it? You oh. put, you put twenty gauge wire on it. So. When you put it, when you turn it on, it uh, it's tries a, to uh, melt. Oh, okay. It'll build you down. How's that solar uh, charger doing? Well, it worked great till he ran the wire behind the seat. And when I sat in it, it caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, there we go. Not going anywhere. Done. Not till the next rain. It'll go to the bottom. That might be where it needs to be. Fish habitat. Yeah. Yeah take all the important stuff out of it and we'll sink it over there where it's yeah. deep you can go that might be the best you can go scuba diving send your underwater drone down there to check on it, check on it. see how it's doing all right let's uh we got a lot of gravel to move today so let's get some gravel here and backfill the pool so i can't get the skid steer to it right now so i've got to use the excavator 
scoop the gravel up and take it over there so it holds the excavator bucket the skipper bucket are about the same the excavator bucket probably holds just a little bit more but the skid steer is easier to drive back and forth. But I can't reach all the way down here to be able to place the stone. And moving the pile over here to scoop up again and put down here is kind of a waste of time. Because by the time I do all that and contaminate the gravel with more dirt, it's just easy enough to scoop it up and take it down here. So be a fair amount of tracking today with the excavator. I think once I get over there, I can use the skid steer. But I'm gonna try to do this side and everything I can reach with the uh, excavator from right here. So plans called for everything to be uh, back filled with gravel around the the pool there that allows for drainage over to our sump pump over there that we have and once we get higher up we'll probably put some dirt in there and compact that in and then keep our but keep our gravel against our wall there for drainage and uh you know kind of gravel a little bit of dirt uh, but not layered so that it's still gravel all the way through because uh, gravel you don't really have to compact it. Once you put gravel in, you, you're pretty well good to go. Gravel really doesn't compact. Yeah, you can, we'll probably run a plate tamp around it just to kind of lock it in since we are putting 12 feet of gravel in there. But uh, technically you don't have to. But it's not going to hurt anything if you do. So I can fill with gravel all the way to pretty much this conduit up top. pour it in there slowly so we don't dislodge anything. And just go keep getting bucket full after bucket full after bucket full. Lots of gravel. A lot of gravel. Keep on getting bucketfuls of gravel and get everything poured in there I can.
Gravel's coming along pretty good here. I'm actually going to uh, jump on the skid steer and start bringing some around right here. It's about as far as I can reach and uh, it's quite the track there with the excavator. So we'll see if it's any faster. I don't think it's going to be any faster, but it shouldn't be too much slower. Plus, you know, I can't get over here anyway. So let me go over here and move the uh, water hose for the sump pump and start bringing some gravel in here and getting this section right here filled in. Excavator here a little more to get some of the hard to reach areas that I can't get to with the skid steer. I got to fill in around the uh, drain pipe. I'm gonna get a few bucketfuls and walk it over here with the excavator. If not, I'm gonna waste a bunch of it with the skid steer. We don't have to fill in that whole entire void with gravel. Uh, but I want to get it around our pipe there because we got slits cut into it so that it will, uh, you know, water can drain into it. It can be pumped out with the pump. I'm going to fill around it here on each side. And then uh, back till everything else with dirt from probably, probably the outer edge here. All that, I'll cut that in there and I can take the skid steer and just kind of run some dirt in there and get that track back in place. So we're not wasting $2,000 worth of gravel to fill that hole in. We got plenty of dirt. supposed to rain today but here we are it doesn't look like a whole lot just enough to make a mess make it aggravate to be outside I do know one thing our big mountain of gravel is uh, slowly getting smaller and smaller undercarriage on this machine because I'm going to wear it out on this job. <laughs>
I think this and the skid steer are about identical for moving them out the same amount of material. The skid steer is faster, but this gets just a little bit more per scoop. But uh, it's less wear and tear to use the skid steer. That is for sure. Excavators really aren't made to track back and forth like a skid steer. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Just kind of keep dumping it around there and then bench this out. Put some dirt in there with the skid steer. We'll see how wet and muddy that gets. Well, we still got some light rain here. Been a little slow on the videos, but uh, got the pool back filled with gravel. Then I took the skid steer and brought some dirt over here to fill this in right here so we don't we are not wasting so much stone got that some more gravel backfilled around there now i'm taking the smaller gravel over here to where the upper pool is going to go and spreading that out for the 10 inch base that it requires so that all the plumbing work can be ran in the gravel underneath so i'll take this and fill it in pretty much to top of the concrete across and uh, he will set the foam blocks on top of that so it's easier to take the excavator and just lay it right here now. And then I take the skid here and spread it out. this into the top of concrete. Just gonna pull this gravel from right here. Put the eight or ten scoops in there and then go spread it with the skid steer.
right, I'm gonna dump this one in a few more, and then uh, I think this gets here and spread all that out. Jeff has to run all the plumbing around there. And tomorrow I'll come back in and dig out where the equipment room's going. Alright, made some good progress today. Got everything back filled, all that filled in with dirt. A lot of a lot of dirt brought over here. A lot of gravel brought over here. Probably uh gosh, we probably moved I don't know how many uh how many hammer loads were over there, but I think we probably moved ten uh probably two hundred tons of gravel over here to backfill this thing. One scoop at the time, that takes a little bit of time, so Started putting the smaller 57 stone down on top right here to the level of this. I will extend this out in the morning to over here. Finish filling this in. And then the underground equipment room for all the pool stuff goes right here. So this corner right here from the inside of the wall, maybe a little bit over to over there, has all got to be cut down about 18 inches. I'll take all that dirt and lay it over there. But i go ahead and put this gravel in here first. Put a little bit of gravel in there and then he can extend his wall out over there and form all this up with the upper pool right here.